I mean, I, 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 I'm, I'm wondering whether this is a question about you know, what we call today globalization. Um, you know, globalization is a phenomenon that, uh, you know, again, I think is, 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 is pretty old. Um, uh, you know, long distance trade was a long standing phenomenon. And uh, we, we have the archeology span now uh, where we find um, Roman coins in Sri Lanka or on the coast of Vietnam or coast of China, we have skeletons that have Asian DNA in southern Italy or uh, European DNA uh, buried in the uh, coastal areas in China. So, you know, think uh, 2,000 years ago, two and a half thousand years ago, there, there was a pretty, pretty vigorous exchange even. Um, but, you know, globalization comes and goes, and there are periods in which there's more intense globalization, and then setbacks and uh, periods of revulsion in the middle of the 20th century after the Great Depression, um, there's a turning back on globalization. Um, to some extent, there was a, a little bit of deglobalization in the aftermath of the global financial crisis. Um, but I think the, uh, you know, the, the, the new story after the COVID crisis is actually going to push for more globalization, but rather on a different, different kind of uh, operating system. So maybe this takes up the, the themes that I was talking about very, very briefly before, um, uh, that there's a great deal more electronic communication. We can do things um, in the way that we're conducting this interview uh, in different continents. Um, we can provide medical services like that. We can provide legal services. Uh, so the, the, there are all kinds of things that are going to move in a new way. Um, we're also thinking about applying artificial intelligence, AI, in, in, in uh, many transformative ways. Um, so you know, this, this is, this is Going to be a quite different society. It's going to feel very different, um, uh, but it's still going to operate on the principles of exchange over long distances, storing up elements of value, exchanging them. Uh, so you know, I think both capitalism and globalization are here to stay, uh, but they're going to be transformed and uh, they're going to work in, in really quite radically new ways. And you know, what, one of the tests of that, I think, is uh, that, uh, that, that there's a profound process at the moment of rethinking what money is about. And so you know, money uh, is one of the things at the heart of the capitalist economy. It's the way that we do exchanges. Um, over the last uh, century, money was provided by states um, we're now thinking about alternative private monies, um, and that, that's, that's a really profound challenge, and it will affect the way in which states think about their monetary management.